Okay, so let's take a quick look at how you're going to start with this movie poster project. Here's a quick example I'm choosing uh, the movie Heartbreakers with Jennifer Love Hewitt. Okay, a cheesy movie I know, but it was easy for me to come up with some quick examples. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to research what the movie poster was when it came out. Here's one of them. Here's another one. There was a third one. Here's a third one. So sometimes you'll find more than one movie poster. Sometimes your movie will have multiple uh, movie posters. So here's the three that came out for this movie. And you'll notice they all kind of have a similar theme. They always have the two women kind of back to back, and one in a pink dress, one in a black dress, and they have this guy. Uh, he's in the here, but this one is another guy. There's always a heart. Well, this one has a heart, the other one doesn't. And the word heartbreakers is always lowercase um, heart and then a, an uppercase breakers. In this case, the E is lower. Here it's a lowercase, and here it's all lowercase but just bold. So three different versions of the same movie poster. Um, this is where I'm going to get my ideas from, but I'm definitely not going to copy this. I'm going to do something a little bit different. So once I see what's already been done, then I'm going to start getting on Google Images and I'm going to start Googling things that I might need, like a girl silhouette, I might need a heart image, I might need a, a picture of a broken heart. Um, and I want to start compiling all these uh, JPEGs into my H drive somewhere or on my desktop. And I want to come up with um, a bunch of different things that I could use to start drawing. I also want to look at my text and start playing around with that. So I'm going to type out the word of my movie title. I'm going to type out the word heartbreakers. In this case, I'm going to type them out separately because I want the word heart to look different from the word breakers. So here I'm going to keep typing. I'm going to try all different fonts for the word heart. I'm going to try all different words for all different fonts for the word breakers. Then I'm going to start to put them together and see how they look. Does this look good with this one? Maybe with this one? Maybe I can move this one. Maybe I can put the big H. So I start to come up with things like this. So now I have a really large H with a smaller E-A-R-T. And then I have the capital B in script, but then uh, the rest of the letters are a uh, serif. So I'm coming up with different arrangements for this, this text. Maybe I put it over here, maybe I change the color. So you want to come up with different versions for your title, how it's going to appear. And you're just going to do that by continually typing the word and then going into your uh, type menu and changing it. And this is one reason why you should get familiar with what fonts you have because now you, using that font directory you created, you can quickly go, well, I want a script. So I know I can go to Bikram, I can go to Billow, I can go to Allegro, I can go to Angelina, and you know what all the fonts look like. So you should have a really strong understanding of what your fonts are, um, which ones you're looking for, and things like that. So you want to just keep copying and pasting, copying and pasting, and changing uh, the type. Again, I'm breaking my own rule. All capitals, never in a handwritten or a script. If I want to quickly change that, I can go to type, uh, change case, and just go to lowercase or title case. Title case will keep the, the first letter uppercase and the rest lower. I can do that with this one too. Type, change case, title case. Okay, so I'm going to keep playing around with all my fonts until I get some idea of what I want for the title. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on my graphics, and I'm going to start bringing in those things, those, uh, those JPEGs and things that I've downloaded from Google Images. I'm going to start tracing over them. I'm going to start coming up with different concepts. And here's an example of those sketches I was talking about. So here's one example of a sketch, and this one's mainly typographic, except I have included this, which could be considered an illustration. And I've really expanded, if you notice, here's my H, but I added this little white piece to make it look like it's wrapping around. And I did the same thing with the B. 
the B ends right here, but I took my pen tool and I drew a little extension of that to really make it look like the H and the B are kind of wrapping their way through the, the heart. I have the actors' names at the top, I have this red, white, and black theme going on, this repetition, and I have the release date. Here's another example. Same, um, same exact kind of layout, but I flipped the colors around, so now I have a red background, a white heart, and black text. And I tried something different with the actors' names going to script for the last name. In the next one, I started to bring in a, uh, a silhouette, so I'm starting to trace over different silhouettes of people. Now these aren't the actual actors, this is just something I found on Google Images. Again, you don't have to um, use anything from the actual movie, you could make it all your own. Uh, I'm using a gradient in the title, I'm layering my text, you see I have a darker kind of drop shadow under there. Same with down here. Playing around with the purple, trying to bring in another color. My next one, I put a large kind of transparent breaking heart in the background there. I went back to my original kind of uh, text layout. I have the two girl silhouettes on either side. I added in a little catchphrase from the movie poster. And so I even found this on there, so I could even put that in. That's the ratings guide. So this is an example of how you would kind of work through a bunch of sketches. So you don't just do the first one and say, this is the best one, I'm just going to go with it. You really want to push yourself to keep going, keep trying. And I wouldn't even settle with these because these two are very similar and these two are very similar. I would really want to come up with a third one that was really totally different and unique from either of these two. Maybe it would have more of a drawing of just a girl's face or maybe it would be something more close up really try to break free of using the same elements over and over again. A really great example of someone who really went above and beyond with the sketches is uh, the student from last year. And here's some of her, just to give you an idea how many she did. I only asked for three, but you can see there's well over probably 15 here. But to really try and push yourself, um, the movie in this case was Daybreakers, and here she has uh, she experimented first with this kind of blood bag, and she drew this. She found the image on Google Images and then traced over it using some gradients. Really nice, uh, simple illustration. She's trying different fonts here. And then here she tried a totally different one. Let's try the silhouette of like the bathroom kind of people, and she put fangs on them. So that was her two different. And you'll see these layouts continue to change. She continues to play around with different fonts, different layouts, different titles, different background colors. Here she's going more with the slogan and then less with the actors' names. So you can see how many times she played around with experimenting with what looks best. Okay, so really experiment. It's just you copying and pasting, copying and pasting, copying and pasting. So you're really not wasting, you're not redrawing this every single time. You're just simply copying and pasting and rearranging things. So really um, explore your options and uh, really see what looks best. And you'll see when you see them all together, uh, when you zoom out, you'll be able to easier, easier pick one. And here's obviously we're breaking one of the rules, which is no vertical text. And um, there's the reason why that one kind of stands out amongst all of them. It's not really fitting in. And I think the ones she has starred here are the ones she actually went with. But really a great example of using those sketches and really pushing yourself and trying different things and seeing what works best. And don't just settle for your first one. Okay, so you're really just going to Find images online, trace over them, combine them. Don't just uh, settle for one image, really work with it and, and change it and make it your own, make it fit the movie. You need to have an image that was drawn in Illustrator as well as typography. Everything should be done in Illustrator um, and keep working and don't give up and good luck.